Yo, that was the best steak taco I have ever had in my entire life. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. So proud of you. I'm very excited for everybody to see all of the cool stuff that we did. Me too. Very excited. Drive yeah. very safe. Enjoy your van. I'm so excited for that. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, home sweet home. We did it, you guys. We have a van. That was my first time turning on the windshield wiper. I lost the like little piece, the little clip to my tripod, the in between between the tripod and the camera, which is so sad. So now I don't have like my little tripod selfie stick. 21 hours and 34 minutes, 1500 miles on my new van. I hope this works. <laughs> Starting route to Burbank. Look who came prepared. You know what this is? This is a cassette with a little cable for my phone. Success! Thank you, Natalie, for the snacks. Hit my first technical difficulty with the vehicle. The car's driving great. The odometer isn't moving. It has not changed one Proceed. mile. Maybe there's some foul play at hand. So it's actually still relatively early. It's a little before lunchtime, but I really, really didn't sleep too hot last night. So I am going to put my curtains down for a second, and I'm going to power nap. There's a lot of power in a... 15 minute power nap. So let's nap away. A few moments later. Ah, nothing like a little nap and some energy drink. It's sort of like being on tour, which I am very excited to hopefully be on tour very soon. That's sort of the point of this, uh, this whole van. To come see you guys on tour. I'm looking to do a living room tour. There is a link in the description that you can go fill out, and if you fill it out, I will come play for you. All right, you see that beautiful, almost sunset? I want to take a picture with my new van. Now it is time. Assuming the photo is awesome, I'll make a postcard and I'll give it to all of my Patreon supporters. Everybody that supports me on there, I send out a postcard. I write a long letter to everybody and it's... I think this is my exit. It is. The Patreon supporters are how I even have a budget to make a music video or put any time towards the original music or the covers. So I'm so incredibly grateful to have the support of everyone on Patreon. So the least I could do is write a postcard and put some love and some heart and some soul into it. It's a race against the sunset. I gotta find a cool spot. All right, the sun is setting. I think I found a shot. Very excited for this postcard. It's a big moment. There's my tripod. I'm at a truck stop taking pictures right now of the sunset for the postcard. Doing music as a career is really scary. It's like incredibly difficult, it's extremely competitive, you pour all of your heart into art and people listen to it and they might just say eh, or they might love it and it might change their life. And it's an incredible blessing and I am so grateful and so thankful to be doing music for a living. I hope to continue doing it forever. This is so cool, stepping up my next level. Where I want to be in five years, ten years, 50 years is doing music, sharing the stage with people I love and traveling the world, playing my songs for people that are screaming and singing along, that my songs that I birthed out of nothing mean something to them. So it's really cool to take little baby steps to get to the next level. I'm not selling out Madison Square Garden yet. Like that's such a powerful moment when you just take a next step up in a level. So thank you to everybody that believes in me and as an artist all the way to the Madison Square Garden. Your patience is incredible, and I'm 
so excited to be on this journey with you. It's been crazy so far. If you are new to me and my music, hi, nice to meet you. Uh, if you are old school, yo, every day is a Saturday night and we have this in the bag. We just have to work hard. Um, and I am honored to have you on my team. Uh, I couldn't be more appreciative and thank you, I'm thankful. Thank you to everybody who supports my music and my art on Patreon, you guys are incredible. You're helping me reach more people. So I've got songs and I've got words to say and a message. I feel like my Patreon supporters aren't just supporting me to give money to my camera person or whatever. They're supporting me because I have a message and my music's affected them in a positive way and they want to help share that. You guys are like the one percentile that helps bring the music to the 99 percentile. You guys make it possible. My music channel has been growing rapidly. I've been making so many new fans and it's so cool to see and I, a cover might have caught someone's attention and then I can come back and I can show them my own words and my own music and share that with them and hopefully make an impact on their lives. So thanks for getting emotional with me at a truck stop right now. I'm probably the only person emoting here at this truck stop. Well, actually, I'm sure truckers are very sensitive. Anyways, thank you for enjoying the sunset with me here in Fort Stockton, Texas. As always, there is no Wi-Fi in Texas. I have said this for years. Uh, so good luck to me for trying to upload this vlog tomorrow. Be on the lookout for a beautiful postcard of us conquering this next step in the journey together. Oh, and if I didn't make it clear back there, I'm working on an album. I really want to make sure I release the music the correct way. The other day, right after the election, I woke up in a panic because the song that I just finished is about hope in despair and is about believing everything's gonna work out for the best. I almost released it. I saw my social media feeds, Twitter feeds, I saw all of the confusion and emotions based on the election and I was like, I was like, man, I have the song to help people right now, but I've been working so long to have a big launch that <laughs> to just straight up wake up one morning and be like, fuck it, I'm putting a song out without a music video and I'm just gonna put it out because it's gonna help people right now. I, I, I held off. I'm going to do it properly like I always planned. That would have been way too rash. I, it will still be, it will still relate to you someday. Um, but I'm working on the music video for it and that will come out hopefully very soon. That might be the first single. It depends, got some choices. I'm gonna go to a restaurant named Bienvenidos, which, which if you didn't know, Bienvenidos translates to Bien, good, venidos, veins. I'm just kidding, it actually means welcome in Spanish, and I'm gonna go there. It's Tex-Mex and they have free Wi-Fi. I'm gonna work on the vlog. Don't you hate it when other people park like assholes? So like if I were to park really tight next to them and they leave, I look like the asshole? Cheers. Yeah, that was the best steak taco I have ever had in my entire Cool. So if you did not know, this is what a truck stop shower looks like. This is a touring heaven. Have your own shower. I don't know how long I have this for. But I have a busy, busy uh, schedule for the night. So I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna go set up the bed for the first time, and I am going to wake up balls early, go to the local coffee shop, upload the video from today that you are watching right now, and I'm going to drive nine hours to Phoenix, and my friend Tiffany Alvord, who I produce a lot of her music, she's playing a very big show tomorrow night, so I'm very excited to, to go and see her play. It'll be really cool. I think she's going to be playing some of the songs that I've produced. That'll work out perfectly. I'll take some pictures and some video for her, and it'll be very cool. So, to Phoenix. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video today. If you enjoyed it, click like, Go leave me a comment, tell me what you want to see in a future video. These are a new thing for me. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, it's really cool. I, I enjoy it. So, let me know what you think. Love you guys. Goodbye.